It would be remiss of us to come all the way up here and not let our group get on the hunt for some crocodiles. Enter Snapping Tours. However, the most important man on any vessel is always the stripper, the skipper. He's down the back there, his name's Brenton. Make sure you get a photo or some footage of Brenton today. That way, if something goes pear-shaped, you know who to blame on social media tomorrow. <laughs> The river systems we're on today call, uh, is called the Johnson River System. There's two stretches. The South Johnson snakes up that way towards Melander in the Atherton Tablelands for about 100 kilometres. The North Johnson runs almost parallel, but about 15 kilometres north of it. The crocs are why we're all here, okay? The saltwater crocodile. The largest saltwater croc ever caught in Australia was 8.6 metres long. Age-wise, in wild, they probably live between 70 and 80 years, maybe 90 in a, good, in a good area like they're in here. The oldest one at the moment is in captivity in the Philippines and he's 112 years old. Now this came from a croc that was around about two metres long, it's about that long. Brenton shot him just last week. No, I'm kidding, crocs have been protected since 1971, all right? So don't go shooting any crocs, you'll, you'll get a fair time in jail. First thing you'll notice about their skull structure is the size, the thickness, the width, all that sort of thing, all right? Now the saltwater crocodiles, have the strongest bite force of any animal on the planet. So a large breed dog, a, a German Shepherd, a Rottweiler, that sort of thing, they come in at around 300, 350 pounds per square inch of bite force. Saltwater crocs come in at about 3,700 to 4,000 pounds per square inch of bite force. Okay, so it's a bit like a bear trap. When things get, when they close their mouth, things tend to get broken. It's just a bear trap. So they shut their mouth, they grab their prey, and they backpedal straight down into the water, and they actually drown about 90% of their prey. Guys and girls, we've got our first saltwater crocodile and hopefully she plays the game. So she's probably about the two metre mark, give or take. Now as you can see guys, she's not incredibly intimidated by us. We do spend a lot of time on the river and the crocs do get used to this boat. Okay, she might kick off into the water, there she goes. I've always wanted to see a crocodile. I've never seen one in the wild. So to go on this tour and actually see that female croc just on the edge there it was really cool. So nice and close. Yeah, let us get right up to it. So it formed exactly the way it should. Sensational. Yeah. yeah, so the kids had a great look at that. So, yeah, Excellent. So, yeah. so hopefully we get to um, spot a couple more. Oh no, that's yeah. a log in the water. That's all right. <laughs> that's, how, how funny is it though? Got life jackets here. I'm still not going to jump in, mate. I'll be climbing on top exactly, of this thing. Exactly, yeah, exactly. It's a last resort. I'll be dragging you over if I yeah, go into yeah. it, I'll tell you. There was one more smaller croc sighting along the cruise, but there was also great landscapes and other wildlife. Hey, guys, just in the um, tree line there, you can see there's a stork, an Australian stork. This wings out, copping a bit of sun. Now, they're probably one of the biggest birds that we get up this way behind the Jabiru, the cassowary and that sort of stuff. They're a really large bird. If someone had a million dollars, say I've got a million dollars right now, would you jump in and would you swim across? Well, where's your money first? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, We've only money. seen one croc. Would, would you Actually, you would. I'd race on for you, it, for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> We've barely even seen a croc, so there's probably not that many in yeah. there anyway. No. What they say, like give, seven crocs give per a kilometre or yeah. something? Yeah. I'd break your odds. I reckon we should run with it, I I actually think that he would do it. Be all right. You want to dangle me over so the crocs jump up, right? You want to get the shot? Yeah, it's all good. That would, be, that would be good content. It would be, it would be great would. content, wouldn't it? Can I just set my camera up? Yeah. Yeah. Back on terra firma, it's time for a fuel stop. Hot chips by the water. What do you reckon, boys? We get some chips? Mm. Afternoon feed? What oh. do you reckon? Now that you've said that, mate, I heard it's your shout. Oh. Two large chips then. Chicken salt, boys. Actually, if he's shouting, you better make it three. Make it three then. Three large chips. With chicken salt, please. Chris, mate. Chris, mate! Have a lovely afternoon. You too, have a nice night. Yeah. Right, kiddies and canals. Dig in. 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 Dig in.